Welcome back to our ICT session. Yes, in the previous session, we have learned about web concepts. But in this session, we are going to learn about the same web concepts by taking some live examples. First of all, we'll take an example for email. You might be thinking in sitting at, at that place, you might be thinking what mom is going to take a live example and relating it with the email. Yes, I'm to going to take an example of your postcard. What is a postcard? What we are doing with a postcard? Whatever we want to write, we are writing in that and sending to our relatives or we are sending to our friends, etc. But in the email also we are doing the same thing. You might be saying that, yes, whatever we are doing in the postcard, the same thing we are doing in the email also. But in postcard, what we are doing? We have to go to the post office. We have to take a postcard, then write the letter, write the to address to whom you have to send, write the from address, and then you have to post it in the post box. Later, the postman will take the letter and he will send it to the concerned address. But here, what we are doing? By just clicking, by just one click, we are able to send a message. Yes? So now, tell me which is advantages? Email is advantages or your post office? Yes, obviously, our email is a very advantageous. It takes less time because for going to a post office, we need a cycle or we need a car or we need to go by bike. But here, sitting at one place, if you have only your computer or your laptop or your smartphone, just by clicking once, you can send your message. That is, it is taking more time and here in email, where in email, in fraction of seconds, we are sending a mail. And now, for next we have cost effective. Which is cost effective? Do you think email is cost effective or postcard? I think email is not cost effective. Postcard is cost effective because when I, if I have to send a message or a mail or sorry or a letter to my friend, I have to go to the postcard post office. But to go to the post office, first of all, I need to have a bike and I need to fill it with the petrol. If I, or else if I have a car, I need to go and fill it with the fuel or diesel, etc. But here, no need of anything. Once if I pay, I can send n number of mails. But if after going to the post office, I'll bring only one letter, I'll write it and I'll just send. But after some time, I realize that I didn't call one more friend. For that, again, I have to go. So here I'm wasting my time also. But here I'm not wasting. Okay, I remember that. Yes, I forgot to send it to Mr. John. What do I do? The same message I forwarded. So in this way, it is time taking and cost effective also. Next comes the instant messaging. Instant messaging, I just want to explain you with uh, an example of Facebook Messenger. Yes, what is Facebook, Facebook Messenger? It is a messenger, messenger where we send messages and we receive the messages. But for that, we need only to have the internet. No need of that person to be online at that time. I want to talk to him or I want to invite him for my birthday. What do I do? I just leave him a message in the messenger saying that tomorrow I'm going to celebrate my birthday and this is the venue and this is the time. So, you, I hope you will be available over there at the concert time. So, what you are going to do? Yes, whenever he is logging in, if he is seeing, then he will definitely attend to my birthday party and give me a surprise. Right? Next comes the social networking. What is social networking? As I said you that we can meet new friends and we can meet our old friends also. Yes, but one more social networking concept I'm going to take you. The example I'm going to discuss you with you today is LinkedIn. What is LinkedIn? Can anyone guess what is LinkedIn? Yes, 
LinkedIn is nothing but a website where number of professionals are linked together and here I can send my mail or I can even use a LinkedIn for the job opportunities. Now for example, I have referred one of my friend Mr. Sam saying that he is working with Infosys. What do I do? I say that I can go to the LinkedIn and I can send a mail or I can say that yes, I have seen your profile. So if you are willing, then you can reply me back. So using LinkedIn, we can go ahead like that. Next comes the next we have what do we have next think yes next we have blog yes what is blog yes blog i said that it is an individual room where we can share our own feelings but do you know that blog is also online like now I say that if I'm taking an online session, then I say that the color which you are seeing at the background is white. But you say that no, it's not white. It's some other color. But something is written on that. What is that you have written? You're saying the background is white. Yes, I agree. But you're not saying that it is something is written on the background. Yes. So like this discussions, open discussions can happen. That is verbal communications. Verbal discussions can also happen in the blog. Next comes the video conferencing. Yes, the best example we can take in video conferencing is our lockdown period. Yes, what you have done in the lockdown period? Try new, new recipes. Yes. Play new games. That's it. No. Apart from that, we also watched TV, right? In the TV, we have seen some conferences. What type of conferences we have seen? Yes. If our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, wants to talk to the chief ministers of all the different states, what he is doing? Is he calling all the chief ministers to Delhi? No, he is not calling everyone. He is just sitting in Delhi and through video conferencing, he is taking in contact with all the CMs of different available states and taking the different, different opinions and then he is taking his own decision. But in the video conferencing, what he is doing? First, he's going to ask our Telangana CM. Who is our Telangana CM? Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao. What he is saying? Yes, we can extend the lockdown period as the cases are more. And next, he is going to ask Mr. Jagan. Who is he? He is the CM of Andhra Pradesh. Yes. So, sitting at one place, he is trying to talk or he is talking to all the chief ministers who are available in all the states and he's taking the information what is happening in their respective states like now for example in Telangana nowadays we are having so many rains are coming yes so he's asking how is the situation now if you go to Gujarat some floods have come heavy rains so there that first people cannot go and meet CM sorry prime minister what they'll do? They'll just using video conference, they'll give the status or the report of what is the situation of their state. In the same way, here also we are doing the same thing. Next, this example can be related to our Zoom classes also. But Zoom classes can be exactly related to video conferencing? No. Why we cannot relate it to video conferencing? You can ask me, yes, the teacher is explaining. Here we are sitting, we are discussing, openly discussing. But how we are discussing? Here we are using the concept of e-learning. But in video conferencing, what we are doing? 
casual talk or the talk which is related to the states. But here we are learning. Instead of going to the school, we are sitting at our home and then we are learning. What we are learning in Zoom? What the teachers are doing? Just coming, explaining you as they, as they do it in the classroom? No. They are sharing you some videos. They are sharing you some images. Yes. And if you are having any doubt, they are asking you to raise your hand. How you do it in your normal class? Yes. Sitting virtually at one place, we are discussing everything. And in Zoom classes, now for example, if in a classroom, if one child is making noise, how do I control? I say that if you will not, if you will not stop talking, then I'm going to send you out or I'll give you some assignment. But here, what I'm doing? Just I'm muting it. Just I'm muting that person so that the noise will not come and the class will not get disturbed. And you can ask me, yes, but how the teacher will come to know who has all attended the class? Can anyone tell me who all attended the class? Yes, that is the reason teacher is asking you to switch on your video. Why? To see which color dress you are wearing or which color shirt you are wearing or which color top you are wearing. No. To see whether you are alert in the class or not. And if you have any doubt, we have two options in Zoom. The first thing is either we can raise hand and when the teacher, what we can do? We can raise hand. What the teacher will do? The teacher will unmute you and ask what is your doubt. Then you will tell. Otherwise, we have a chat window where we can ask what our queries are. Now, for example, the teacher is explaining about rotation and revolution. But I am unable to see it. So, what I do? I just chat in the chat window saying, ma'am, that ma'am, I am unable to see your window. So, what you will do? Okay, fine. So, I have unmuted you. Now, you can just ask me, I'll explain you verbally. So she will explain you verbally. Otherwise, she will clear her screen and she will write again and show you in this way. But here also, see, some of the children are from our Hyderabad branch. Some of the children are from Maidipatnam branch. Some of the children are from Lal Darwaza branch, etc. Like this, so many branches, not only here, not only in Hyderabad. We have some kids throughout the world in Sri Chaitanya that like Bangalore, Chennai. Now, for example, if I'm alone as a computer teacher, what I do? I take up a session. I allot them some time. Now, for example, if for Bangalore, what do I do? I say that today at 11 o'clock sharp, I'm going to start the class and I'm going to give you the link. Using that link, you are going to join the class and listen to the class. Later, I will take Hyderabad. Next, I will take Chennai. Like that. So, in this way, we can relate the live examples for web concepts also. And here, as I already said you that we have some of the advantages and disadvantages so whenever you are using your internet, be careful and be safe. Don't let your personal information be shared with your unknown person because later you will be repenting on that. So whenever you are doing any payments, etc. like that. And one more thing, we have shopping. Yes, I think when I started telling you shopping, you might be thinking, yes, yes, yesterday madam told us about e-shopping, that is Amazon shopping. In the same way, today we'll discuss about some live example taking a supermarket, right? During this pandemic period, what we did, what did we do? Did we go to the supermarket and take the items, whatever we want and came home? No, why? Because no one was allowed to go out as we were in the lockdown period. So what we did, yes, we ordered using the big basket 
or Spencer's apps app etc. For that you need to have a mobile phone where you can download your app and you can order whatever things you want to do it. But whenever you are going to take in the supermarket, what is happening? First, we will go to the supermarket. We have to roam around the supermarket. Inside fully, we have to see whatever items we need to have. We will take all the things and then we will take all the items in the supermarket and then we will see what is there and we will put it in a basket. Later, come to the counter, put the billing count billing and then come home. But here, sitting at home in front of a computer or your phone, you're just ordering what you want. Like we have Swiggy, going to a hot restaurant and ordering food and eating might, might take time. But here, what we are doing? Just we are ordering, getting it, grabbing it, finish. So here ends the session of web concepts. Thank you, children. Yes, in the previous session, we have discussed about e-shopping. In e-shopping, we have seen some examples like Amazon, Flipkart, etc. But this time, I am going to take a live example of a supermarket. What? Supermarket. But why supermarket? And how it is related to online shopping or e-shopping? Yes, online shopping what we are doing? We are sitting at our home and taking the goods right but if you want to go to the supermarket what you have what you have to do you need to go to the supermarket check for the items where it is available we have to collect it put it in the basket stand near the counter pay the bill everything but here using amazon shopping or online shopping the time taking is very less so what we are doing here the, we are doing some payments when we are doing online shopping or a normal shopping we are doing some payments yes that payment can be of debit card or credit card or your net banking or sometimes we are using the google pay what we are using google pay also to immediately instantly transfer the amount to the shopkeeper so here now what is happening when I'm going to the supermarket the time taking is more but when I'm sitting at my home and do shopping the time taking in less and the product is delivered to me directly there I have to go and bring the product but here sitting here I'll get my product